Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here, and we are going into another Alliance War. This is war number seven of season 31, and we are up against this Chinese Alliance, and their tag is translated into just Chinese, and their alliance name translated is there is a long way to go. And yeah, I feel like that's where we're at right now. So um, yeah, let's get into this video. So first up we have a a team that I brought earlier in this season, She-Hulk, Guillotine 2099, and Mr. Fantastic. So I put on uh, Mr. Fantastic, Petrify, and Suppress on this man thing as a vigorous assault, arc overload. So when he starts the fight, he's gonna get that regen. He'll be fully unblockable. Arc overload will come back up. The regen will make him uh, fully unblockable. And I do have the petrifies and um, to help mitigate the, some of the regen. I have the power sting synergy with Mr. Fantastic. So when he throws a special, it will do some nice damage. And yeah, uh, I was really happy with this fight. I just, you know, I know that there is stand your ground possibilities. Um, I just kind of just going with the heavies there in the corner. And he throws another special, gets another big power sting. And I think I'm going to intercept him with a special one. Finish with a full yellow bar. So She-Hulk beasting it out in that fight. I was really happy with that fight. I was feeling good. We go up to this next fight. It's Elsa. We did confirm that she didn't have suicides on. Um, so I could take it with a non-mutant champ. This is Masochism Indomitable. And I'm going to ramp up. The plan was to ramp up Guillotine 2099 in this fight for um, my section two uh, path. And um, there's really nothing going on here that's too crazy. You know, she will um, trigger masochism, guillotine 2099 quite frequently with those degens, which is actually fine. It allows me to get easy openings with the parries. Um, and if masochism is not disabled from one of those uh, degens, then I can just parry and then re-parry, double parry, whatever you want to call it. I call it a double parry. Um, and get some openings in. I'm gonna, so here is my mistake right there. That was a mistake. Um, I thought with the way that the fight was going that I would easily be able to get back up to a special three. Um, with the masochism going on, you know, I, it was around 50% and I still had almost three bars of power there. You're going to see with the power stings, as my combo keeps going up and up, up to 100 hits, my attack rating keeps going. So I going up. Um, so I hit harder and harder. Now, that becomes a little bit problematic. I'm getting towards the end, and I'm like, I'm not up to three bars of power, and I need to end this with a special three. So here I decide I'm just going to start blocking and get some uh power from her hitting into my block and i probably should have parried her to trigger masochism and while i'm holding block she just throws the special and the power steam just kills her so i do not get guillotine 2099 ramped up on that fight and that was frustrating to say the least now i go up into this fight now i'm gonna i'm gonna pause this fight before i start and we're gonna talk about it a little bit so this is the Mixed Master, uh, Aggression Prowess, Power Focus 1. And we were doing our planning, and we pretty much had our whole plan, and then we went and said, well, wait, we, we never assigned the Professor X Mixed Master fights. So we're looking through all the teams and saying, well, who can take that? Um, because we just didn't allocate it. And I was like, oh, I can take it with She-Hulk. And uh, it's like She-Hulk can apply the slow, and it can prevent the evades and you know I don't have to worry about mix master really and I know how to counter his specials you know you really want him to throw his special one um, while he's faltered and if you do that you can just stand there and wait and then you can hit him you don't have to dash back or anything like that you can hold your heavy and hit, counter him once that falter goes away and all that and I was like I can do it and we're like all right that's great so we all join up and I'm like, well, you know, I'm going to do some dual practices just to kind of get familiar because I mean, 
I'm not like, you. I don't use She-Hulk a lot, and you know, especially I don't never used him against um, Professor X, so I go do some duels, and I find out something that makes this fight a little bit more complicated, and let's get into the fight. So, the thing that makes uh, She-Hulk an odd matchup for this is an awakened one. Unduped, no problem. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been an issue, I don't think. But duped, you reduce ability accuracy on the opponent's special when you're fighting a mutant champion. So right there, now that was that was my bad. I totally was not paying attention to the uh, falter timer, and I totally ate a special one. I'm like, okay, that's all right. I can I can recover from this, no problem. Now high ground is only at one charge. That's okay. But here's the problem. I mean, I counter the special, I can hit him. And the falter has not turned off. Now, that's that's where She-Hulk really is not the best option for a fight like this. Because you do not know when that falter is going to actually happen or not. And, and then I have to block and parry more. And I have to get off... Um, you know the see like right there so again he threw a special and I hit him but then I had to actually deactivate the falter later and more block damage and I parry I miss the parry I get the second parry but because his light attacks can't be stunned you know I just eat the high ground damage and I die um, and I was super frustrated so when I when I was dueling him I'm like ah I can I can deal with it um, but when it got into the fight and with all the icons on the screen, it was difficult for me. Any excuse that I can give is difficult for me to manage um, that. And so I was pretty frustrated. So I, I healed her back up, I took a breather, and I was like, all right, I'll go back in, I'll finish it off because we really didn't have a, a great option alternative for this. And so I go back in, and I put, you know, I put on a regen boost the first time, and I put a regen boost on the second time because I knew I was going to take some high ground damage. And then right out the gate, I just can't land a parry. I'm like, oh my gosh, please do not let me screw this up twice. So um, now I do need to be careful. So he's going to be faltering. I go in, and that time um, it did it did trigger, but I guess I just didn't trust it. I get off the slow there, luckily. So now I can just do full combos, get him with the big special two, get a little bit of power back. I do have some green power back boost on, but not that much. Um, now the slow is gone, and there we go. That's how I was planning on doing it. Now if that would happen every single time, that's how I would have been fighting him. Um, and it just, I don't know, it just really, really messed up my flow. I am getting the power sting damages, the slow is about to fall off, but we reapply it, and we're about to, he's about to falter again, but we kill him. Uh, so anyways, I was a mixed noob, mainly because of the interaction with She-Hulk's awakened ability, it really sucked, um, but I lost an attack bonus, and I was, I was not, not happy at all. Now, I'm going up the middle. And I'm going to be taking that Maw, but we're actually going to do a boss rush style and um, take down the global first. So I move over to the left on the EMP Apocalypse, back up, because I'm not going to be using my energy for a long time. You can see there's 18 hours on the clock. Move up to this um, Ebony Maw. Um, we're going to end up putting on, I'm going to heal, heal up She-Hulk after all my boost fell off. I'm going to apply a Petrify and a Suppress um, Mr. Fantastic debuffs. Um, we finished healing um, her up and this is like the next morning. Put it on my boost. The boss is down so there is no high ground on this and I had taken this fight in the off season with this team and it totally totally wrecked it. But the mod did have suicides and we would just we, you know, because we hadn't really done this fight for real, you know, when, the, when it's, Champ has suicides in the offseason, you're always questioning, like, well, that was too easy. So here we go. We're going to get off the reparry. 
we're gonna apply the heavy to get the slow and then we can nice little intercept full hit combo five hit combo going into a light we reapply the slow and now we're gonna go in for a combo ending in a, in a medium to apply the withers and you can see all of a sudden boom he is getting withered down we're blocking those he's not gaining power I do a little whiff into a medium to get the slow back and reapplied lots of debuffs on him we go back in for a full combo ending in with the light to get more withers hit the special one and he's gonna throw a special and die super easy super quick now could we have done that with high ground up I absolutely think we could have and I basically said hey you know in the future if we see him all there and we feel like we um, don't have a really good plan to do a boss rush I'll do that with um, She-Hulk very confident she's a beast um, and that's that's how you play She-Hulk She-Hulk just wrecked that maw now we're gonna go into this next fight um, it's no 29 Evan flow intercepts Sadis so this is where I was supposed to have guillotine 2099 charged up I was like ah, it's not the biggest deal I can still do this fight I I basically fight the the mini guillotine 2099 or not guillotine the mini kitty in on map 8 at the end of the map almost every day in AQ and this is pretty much how I fight her now granted I'm also generally ramped up I'm like I don't have to worry about it you know, I did get an intercept in there earlier basically if the intercept happens great um, I wasn't gonna force anything we get another intercept in there I am getting the power stings and with that fury up that that power sting um, hurt pretty bad on Kitty when she threw that and we're just gonna go we don't wait till we're at the guaranteed 5% we still have the uh, Evan flow intercept fury up we throw the special three lights out 45 hits now or 49 hits now if we would have had uh, 100 combo the fight would have been done in maybe half the time but yeah we get that down nice and clean and we definitely needed to be charged up for this fight so we put another health potion in you know we had put we had put some uh, tech boost on now granted I put on a 200% tech boost but I really didn't utilize that because I wasn't throwing I didn't throw any special twos and throw any special besides the special three in the first fight and this one I think I throw one special two but mainly I'm gonna be throwing special ones now I'm ramped up now this one has the mighty charge on it so you know if he's dashing in on you you're gonna have to re-parry double parry to get those stuns off which you can see I'm doing right there and I'm just going to make sure at the start of the fight I get those re-parries on and I build up my combo uh, shields because I do not want to lose my 100 plus combo on this fight because that's where I'm gonna get the damage regardless if I have the ebb and flow uh, fury from the in intercept um, applied so here he goes into the wrath of tanarak and I'm just kind of playing this very safe we do end up getting a intercept um, you know when he's in the wrath of tanarak he's very aggressive pretty predictable I just wanted to make sure I didn't lose my combo we get a fury we get some nice damage going on he's almost about halfway down a minute in which is you know pretty good pace and I'm feeling good. This guy does have some Mystic Expersion. It's not like super crazy big. Um, but I think from here on out, um, I'm mainly going to be throwing special ones and just making sure that I control the power on this fight. Um, and I'm not even certain. I think I might get one more intercept in. Um, but with, with, you can see like I, Dex the L1 and then I go in to hit him and then boom he shoots up over a special one so he's always got a lot of power so unless I'm doing like an intercept straight straight in like right in here which I probably could have done I you know but I just I just wanted to make sure that I didn't I'm, I already died once this war and um, you know for me I'm always saying I don't care how long it takes to kill to kill one of the champs as long as you're killing it without losing attack bonus that's the most important goal um, you know every once in a while you might end up with a tide war and the time matters but generally if you take care of business and you do that well you don't have to worry about the time so 
that's that's at least my perspective I know there's others that that don't agree with me and that's fine um, but yeah so we are just spamming special ones to make sure that this guy doesn't ever accidentally get to special three um, this is a beefy beefy Sasquatch you can see that we've been we've been hitting away at this guy and that regen is just keeping him in the fight but that's okay guillotine as I keep hitting him that energy damage just keeps getting more and more and more and now I probably should have intercepted in that in that scenario when he was in the breath of Tanarak and he was at low power but uh, again I didn't want to you know miss an intercept get parried or something stupid um, and yeah, I knew I knew that guillotine would be just be able to brute force down that uh, ebb and flow uh, intercept protection damage, and she does the trick. It was like a hundred and how many hits? Hundred and forty-eight hits. I mean, I felt like it was pretty pretty easy, self-explanatory. You can see the boss was down, and then here's here's um, our boss fight. We had a magneto. And Demps 928, uh, he's the one that mainly plans most of our uh, alliance war uh, battle plans, attack uh, our attack phase, and he does a great job. Um, he has a rank four kid, and Kitty is an absolute monster. Now he didn't have uh, Tiger on the team to get the unblockables um, with like the 10 plus prowess, but she throws throws that special and you know it's unblockable and it stays unblockable um, so he's able to get in there but he's trying to bait these special ones he doesn't want to mess around with the special two you know magneto special two or white magneto special one that special two sometimes it can it can get you um, here and there now he does end up running into that heavy but that's okay um, kitty is pretty dang awesome the fact that she's you know I call it like the uh, she's like a yo-yo um, it's just in and then back out and then right back in you know she can phase through and basically mitigate any damage that you might take um, if you miss an intercept but if you connect it boom you're you're golden um, if you don't that's okay you won't be taking damage I um, mean just in and out in and out he does great job phasing through that special to get an easy counter off of his special ones he throws off a special three and he'll come out phased um, I have a I have a five star rank four kitty Maxig. I want her in the arena um, haven't used her really in a lot of content um, hoping that I can hopefully snatch up a kitty in um, this featured in the six star pool. I haven't got one yet. I think I've opened six features um, But if I do I do have a mutant two to three gem waiting for her so um, But yeah, this is a little bit slower fight um, But Demps takes care of business and gets the solo He does a, he's a good job. You know, he did get hit a few times, but that's all right. All that matters is that you get the full attack bonus um, and yeah boom there he goes gets the kill now as far when I woke up this morning we were looking at this scoreboard that's this is when I was going into the mall we were winning but we had to clear the whole map um, flawless now our battle group did that we ended up with a three to three tie we beat them on time in our battle group but as far as an alliance, we totally choked again. Um, another battle group just totally blew it, um, and it's repeated itself since last war. We lost this war, and I just want to show this because I thought I thought it was a little bit interesting. Um, you see, I censored a name down there, and that third MVP person. I'm not going to name names just because. You know it is what it is and we're, we're moving on and whatever but that that person died seven times but yet kabam still calculated him to be the mvp which is really weird you might say oh well he got a whole bunch of attack kills no he had five attack kills 
Oh, he must have got a whole bunch of uh, defender kills. No, he got zero defender kills. So, really weird. That's why I really don't pay much attention or really mention uh, Alliance War MVPs, but he joked about it. That person joked about it. I'm like, I'm going to use that in my video. Anyways, kabam. I don't know how you calculate the MVP, but I've always been suspicious of like the data that's used, and it's pretty garbage. But as far as my war goes, I had six fights, six kills, one death. And on the season, 36 kills, and 36 fights, two deaths. Um, really good job to ch Chinese. There's a long way to go. Um, we have a long way to go. We dropped a three and three on the season. Um, this is two wars in a row that we've lost. And we dropped into platinum, um, which is disappointing. But yeah, good job to the Chinese Alliance. Um, they did, you know, they did okay. We did terrible, which is all they needed to do. So. Um, and here's my updated graphic. You know, I added three fights each to uh, She-Hulk and Guillotine 2099. I actually kind of like that team. Um, it's really fun, um, and they can do a lot of stuff. Granted, I did fail on that Professor X, um, and yeah, definitely won't be using that for that fight anymore. And I don't know. If, and I, one other thing I didn't mention in that Professor X fight is. They're actually having a, an update to a bug with him is when I was doing that fight, and I, I forgot to mention this, but you can see when he did evade, when I didn't have the slow up from Mixmaster, he would like disappear. And when I was dueling, you know, obviously Professor X doesn't evade. But when I saw that, that just like really threw me off. I'm like, well, where did, where did he go? Um, but I guess that's getting fixed um, in this next month's patch update. Um, which is, I guess, a little bit comforting. Not that I'm going to use that ever again because she hooks sig ability really, really messes with that f with that fight's flow and just Professor X flow in the to begin with. So something that I learned um, that, and I'm just gonna you know move on. And uh, yeah, anyways, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Um, I wasn't aware of that She-Hulk uh, mutant interaction, particularly with Professor X. Were you aware of that? Uh, maybe you use She-Hulk a little bit more. And are there other mutants that it is kind of to your disadvantage? Um, where if you used an Awakened She-Hulk, that it kind of throws you off, throws off the rhythm of the fight? Let me know in the comments below. Um, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.